Hey, ho, ho, ha, ha. All right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, this is episode 468 of the e-bike build. <laughs> well, that's what it feels like anyway. But last week, or not last week, or whenever I put the last video out, uh, I was talking about uh, my uh, brake saga. Anyway, in this video, I'm taking off the dual caliper front brakes, and I'm going to a single front brake with this. Now... I don't know what you can see. This is a four-part single caliber. I know people in the comment section are probably going to say, oh, you shouldn't have bought this, or you should have bought that, or you should have bought this one. This is the one I bought. So <laughs> it's tough luck. I bought it now. Um, anyway, let's get on with the video. <laughs> Hoi! Right, okay. To start the video off, I know you all love a little tiny short montage. Is that the right word? Montage? Montage? <laughs> anyway, let's roll the montage. So I managed to get hold of a genuine Shimano front brake hose kit, which is the BH90, which is supposed to be the right fitment for the Suron levers. So I purchased that. You can see on this picture it's out of stock now, so they really aren't to find. But anyway, I purchased that and I also bought a 8mm crow's foot and I put that on the torque bar, set it to 5 newton meters, and tightened up the brake, le uh, the brake hose to the Suron levers and the new caliper. So the next step was to bleed the caliper, but I got a bleeding block for a two piston caliper, but I haven't got a bleeding block for a four piston caliper. So a quick little Google, and it shows how you can make your own bleed block out of cutting up credit cards. You know, the little plastic, it doesn't have to be a credit card, it could be any type of card, but uh, I cut them up and they absolutely work perfect. So then I moved on to bleeding the brakes. I made sure there was no A at all in the syringe before I started. Uh, I did everything by the book, everything by the letter. You know, it was a perfect brake bleed. And did it work? Yes, it did. The, the four pistons and the sewer on brake together work absolutely fantastic. Okay, so just to summarize, I used the Shimano kit with the olives. I used the Shimano four piston brake caliper and the Suron levers. Uh, I used the B BH90 uh, Shimano kit because the B59 kit has got a different. Uh, I was watching a video of some guy and he said that the internal diameter of the hose is different on the B59 because it has a wider barb. And the BH90 has a smaller internal, I think that's right, because it has a smaller barb. So don't get your pipe, hose pipes mixed up as well. Anyway, let's move on to something a bit more exciting. The battery. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the BMS there. Uh, I've put all the bolts along there on this one here. I got 
the heat sensors every four gaps ish I think. So I go one there, one there, one there, one there. And they've just started to put the balance leads on now. It was at this moment that he knew he had f***ed <coughs> up. So here's a picture of the BMS wiring diagram. Here's a picture of what I've done. Wiring diagram, what I've done. Wiring diagram, what I've done. <laughs> it's upside down. Right then, so this is the battery at this moment in time. Let's have a look at start over this side. Right, we've got two 10 millimeter squared wires. I think that's what the size they are. I don't know why they are in mill. Uh, going in to this 125 amp switch. Okay, we got the balance lead on the end there, and the balance lead, the balance, the amp BMS live lead. Then we got this lead coming off here. And that's going to be going to the charge port, okay? So I think that's all I need on this side. You can see I've done all the balance leads, blah, 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 blah. Um, all the uh, temperature sensors, one, two, three, four temperature sensors. Balance leads going under there. Got a piece of thick neoprene foam there. And on this side, we got the negative, we got the uh, ant BMS negative there, then these two out. Is anything else there? Yeah, there, coming down into the BMS. We've got this wire coming off here, and this is gonna go to the, <laughs> this display. And then this wire here, it's going to go to the display as well. But that's going to go to the switch. So when it's switched on and off. Uh, then we're coming down here. Blah, 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 blah. And we got these two wires here. Um, what else do I need? And I need something else as well. I need one more wire. Oh, yeah. I need to put the the charge charger lead to one of these as well. Anyway. That's how far I am at the moment. I'm nearly there. <laughs> There's the switch as well. But I'm going to put a different switch on to that. Anyway. That's the battery so far. Big bag of taped up battery. And here we go. I did a balance. And it's 0 0.001 high low difference. Not bad at all. Ho ho ho. So... The design of this, look, I can get a nice socket on there, look, and tighten it up. I can get a socket on there. I can get a socket on there. I can get a socket on there. <laughs> I can't get a socket on there. Woo! What the hell is that? What the actual hell? Oh. Anyway, you can see, I've doubled up, look. See? Doubled up on that one. So I've got two wires coming out. I want to have two coming out of this one as well. Oh, -ho. all right. So, look. Uh, I'm making the connections for the battery. Let me just show you what I'm looking at here. Uh, let's put this on here. Right. Press record, right. So, I've just done up this. I got the two live wires in there. This wire is for the 12 volt converter. This wire goes to, this wire is going to the controller and the controller is supposed to send power back down to this controller here. So let's just turn it on and see what happens. <sighs> Nothing's gone bang. Uh, let's turn this on here. Let's see what happens. 
showing 77.2 volts and uh, let's have a look down here oh look error communicating I got no lights on down here so I don't know if that means nothing's happening probably means nothing's happening tonight ah. right. so after all that getting nervous <laughs> hey, look I didn't have the look ignition 72 volt let's get that focused here 72 volt look I didn't have it connected. Oh, I'm a silly Billy. Right, let's start again then. So after all that, I did manage to do a whole test and after the, it failed on three of them, it passed on the fourth one. I had to keep putting the amps up until it passed. Uh, and I did manage to sit on the bike and I pulled the accelerator slightly and the bike went backwards instead of forwards. So you've got to go in the settings. It's quite normal, actually. Uh, and you go in the settings and it says, I think it's, I can't remember what it says, but you're either, it's either zero or one. If it goes backwards, set it to one. If it's on zero, and if it's on the vice versa, anyway. So I set it to one and the bike is now going forwards and it does move under its own power. So the next episode will definitely have some form of me testing the bike on the road uh, so we'll get some idea of uh, what kind of power it's got how fast it goes uh, you know all that sort of stuff so if you want to you know see me maybe fall off the bike because <laughs> it's too fast because it does feel pretty powerful to be honest um, then you know subscribe click the little bell icon give it a like all them sort of things and uh, I'll see you in the next one hoo <laughs> hoo